In this video, we'll talk about getting started with the gluten-free life. If you are thinking about going gluten-free in order to live more healthfully, good for you. It's an excellent decision. If you have been diagnosed as gluten intolerant, or worse, with celiac disease, you may feel frustrated and overwhelmed. Where on earth do you even start? You have a right to be concerned, because your health is at stake. Going gluten-free is a must for you. It's up to you to make the experience as enjoyable as possible. Your first step is to become as informed as you can, and the purpose of this video is to help get you started. This is just the beginning, however. Talk to a doctor who is knowledgeable and proactive when it comes to diets and health, i.e. a doctor who doesn't simply write out prescriptions. Meet with a trained nutritionist who is familiar with celiac disease. He or she can provide a great deal of detailed information regarding your specific situation and help you plan healthful meals for you and your family. Then, check out celiac support groups in your area. Members have experienced the same frustrations you are now going through and will understand. You also need to become product savvy. Wheat can hide in the most unexpected places, especially in prepared foods. Read labels, and if you have any questions, call the company and ask for specifics about ingredients. You have every right to know what goes into your body. A gluten-free kitchen. Once you know what foods to bring into the house, keep in mind, fresh is always best. You need to prepare your kitchen in order to avoid cross-contamination. We have already mentioned that it is best for the entire family to enjoy gluten-free cooking instead of you preparing a separate meal. In the event you don't do that, you need to dedicate special household products to your gluten-free cooking. That includes pots, pans, cutting board, and utensils. Clean out the toaster to remove wheat crumbs. Gluten can attach itself to these items and cause cross-contamination. Start your gluten-free journey from scratch. If the entire family is involved, as they should be, toss out any gluten-containing food items from the freezer, refrigerator, and cupboards, and replace them with gluten-free equivalents. It may seem overwhelming to toss your favorite bagel, pasta, and cookies, but once you learn how to prepare gluten-free alternatives, you won't miss them. There is every chance you will actually prefer the tasty gluten-free meals and snacks. If other family members remain on a gluten-filled diet, place their food in a separate, dedicated area. After preparing their meals, be sure to thoroughly clean any affected surfaces. Cleaning out the bathroom. For anyone starting out on the gluten-free life, it may come as a surprise that the kitchen isn't the only room in the house filled with potential dangers. Your bathroom may be stocked with gluten that can negatively affect your gluten intolerance. Many ordinary cosmetics and hygiene items contain wheat. As a matter of fact, wheat is a favorite exfoliant for the face and body and can be found in any number of lotions and cleansers. Read the labels on the following bathroom products carefully. Soaps and gels, facial scrubs, shampoo, skin lotions, toothpaste, lipstick, hairspray. Many of these products call themselves natural or organic due to the wheat content. If you need to replace any product, look for products containing shea butter or oils such as coconuts or jojoba oil, which are excellent moisturizers. Luckily, there are a number of cosmetic lines that specialize in gluten-free products. Check the internet for specifics. In addition, if you are wheat intolerant, Beware of kissing someone wearing lipstick that may contain wheat. Rule of thumb, if you know someone well enough to kiss, you should know them well enough to explain your wheat intolerance and have them check their cosmetics. You and booze. The good news is, you don't have to give up alcohol to enjoy a gluten-free life. You do need to be aware of beer, distilled products, and any malt beverages. You can, however, enjoy bourbon, gin, tequila, rum, cognacs, vodka, and wine. Gluten and your medicine cabinet. While there is no cure for celiac disease, you may be taking medications for other issues. While you can discuss medications with your doctor, physicians aren't always informed about specific medicines 
and their ingredients. Your best bet is to talk to the pharmacist and explain your situation. It is always better to be informed and cautious. Any number of pharmaceuticals contain starch from corn, potato, and wheat. Laws regarding labeling pharmaceuticals can be hazy. Companies are not required to list the type of starch they use. Best to err on the side of caution, as the wrong medication may cause abdominal problems, diarrhea, and other symptoms. You don't want pharmaceuticals to make you sick. If you have any doubts about the medication you are taking, have the pharmacist call the manufacturer or call the company yourself. You are entitled to know how their products are manufactured. While you're with the helpful pharmacist, ask him or her about supplements and vitamins. Since celiac disease makes absorption of nutrients difficult, more about that in another chapter of this video course, you should be taking supplements to make up for the loss and help alleviate nutrient deficiency. Gluten-Free Pantry When you're eating gluten-free, it's important to have a well-stocked pantry. Otherwise, unexpected guests or coming home hungry and wanting dinner now or simple human cravings can have you throwing up your hands in despair. Fine. We'll order pizza. If you don't want that to happen, you need to be prepared with a well-stocked pantry. You should have all the ingredients for a delicious, gluten-free meal on hand whenever needed. All of us look to food for comfort at times. That's fine as long as the comfort is healthful and nourishing. For a quick breakfast when you are in a hurry, keep a container of gluten-free buckwheat on hand. Try it with a poached egg to get you going in the morning. Have gluten-free breads on hand for a satisfying sandwich at lunch. For a tasty dinner, make sure you have plenty of gluten-free flours, brown rice, gluten-free corn tortillas to prepare meat and vegetable dishes. Check out gluten-free pastas online. Snacks can be tough. When kids come home from school and bring their friends, you need a plan. Be prepared to serve up popcorn, gluten-free crackers and cheese, trail mix, or banana slices with peanut butter at a moment's notice. Necessary foods in your pantry. In addition to fresh produce and lean meats and fish, there are certain items that should always be on your shelves. You will note that many of them are for seasoning and elevating a dish when cooking. You really should never be without garlic, rice, quinoa, and potatoes, many different types of gluten-free flours, a high-quality olive oil and other oils, such as coconut oil, a few high-quality vinegars, a variety of lentils and bean, preferably the dry kind, a variety of broths, such as beef, chicken, and fish broths, preferably homemade, a variety of nuts and seeds, mustard, a variety of spices to liven up your dishes, fresh herbs, tamari sauce, a gluten-free soy sauce, sour cream, Parmesan cheese, eggs, yogurts, read labels prior to purchasing, cans of tuna fish, dried mushrooms, canned tomatoes, check label, fire roasted tomatoes and chilies for added heat. There are many other foods that can make it into your kitchen, but these essentials should enable you to prepare a healthful, gluten-free meal at any time. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.